YouTubers and gamers and I'm back and today is a small pick up video um, a lot of these things I'm about to show you I picked up over the last five weeks I think it's been uh, and uh, basically it's, it's, it's just PS4 and Nintendo Switch bits uh, first of all in terms of um, none games got uh, one accessory it is for Skyrim um, tablet protectors which go over the little side controllers whatever they're called again and the main body of a tablet now it's actually quite pretty actually the side bits are like a silvery effect and on the back of the tablet there's a main Skyrim logo or emblem of the dragon now unfortunately when that main body bit's on you won't actually go into a dock uh, so, but you can charge it separately to a dock if you want to, of course. But that also comes off quite easy, and I just put that into the the the, the case and and uh, just slide it on. Uh, but obviously, when you slide it on, the two side bits will can stay there. So it's quite good actually. I got this for about well, it was twenty five pound retail, but I had about sixteen pounds worth of firm credit. So about nine pounds in the end. That was from Game.co.uk. Um, there is also an, another accessory set which is like um, uh, to, um, to I can't remember what they call it, the uh, grips, uh, proper Skyrim grip things, like a joy pad out and also a, a, um, a hard case for a tablet. So I might get that as well, so it's a, a bit of a Skyrim set. It's very nice. Um, one more switch, obviously I had to get a scar in the game. Um, it's just having this on the handheld. That's the main appeal, really, more than anything else, really. Uh, and that's probably the main reason, or only reason, why you should need to buy this again, unless you've already got it and played it before, or haven't played it before. I mean, I completed it on the PS3 a few years back, but it's great all the same. And I probably end up getting Skyrim VR as well for a PS4. I think that'd be a Nice different way of playing it as well. Talk of uh, re-releases of of older games. We also have Doom on the Switch 2, and there is a Doom VR get, uh, coming out quite soon as well. I um, got this from uh, Argos for, for, for about, about retail, about um, I think it's about forty quid. Um, yeah, it's really nice to have this again on Doom. To be able to play Doom on the handheld with a portable version. Um, it's, it's just so cool. It's, in my mind, it's almost like imagining you know, these games were on a 3DS type thing. And, and so that's the reason why I buy them. Uh, and that's why I bought multi formats before, really, on PS4 main consoles and also on the portable sort of, you know, like on the 3DS or Vita type thing. But no, um, on the Switch. Um, so one of the Vita is, you know, you could ask if they could get these on the Vita, could they not get these also on the... Uh, I mean, on the, if they could get these on the Switch, why can't, can they, can't they put them on the Vita? I mean, it's an idea, isn't it? Uh, okay, other games. I've got the Super Mario Odyssey, that came with a hat, with a silly hat. I have got it here, it's in the game room, but yeah. Um, there's no, no more needs to be said about that. Class, uh, that's going to be a future classic. Um, another multi format. This was also released on the PS4 and Xbox One, I think. Uh, I've got a PS4 version as well, but I thought I'd get the, this one because it'd be nice to have it on the handheld. But also, I think this game in particular will, will become quite um, collectible on the Switch at some point in the future. I think it's one of those sort of um, cooler games that uh, can be sought after. Okay. Also, uh, what came out this week is um, Snipper Clips Plus, a physical version. Um, I've been holding off on this for a while because I always want, you know, a physical version given a choice. And this one's got about an additional 40 stages, so it's nice to have a physical copy. It wasn't a lot of money. Um, I think it was about 20 quid or something. Um, okay, these last two games are um, 
USA imports I got from off Amazon. They both come with, um, they're both indie developed games with lots of little goodies inside. Um, I think there's like badges and, and, and decent de 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 booklets and stickers and things. So we have Tiny Barbarian DX and also Cave Story Plus on the Switch, which is really nice actually because. The 3DS version on this game is really expensive, and so um, to get a, a the superior version on the Switch is you know even better really. So that's cool. Turn away from the Switch to the PS4. Uh, this game I think came out this week. It's a it's a top down. Almost like bullet hell type shoot. I think it's like bullet hell type shoot. It's, it's a frenzy shooter anyway. Circuit breakers. This wasn't a lot. This was about. I think it was about twelve ninety nine from game that one. Don't know if it's got released in the states or not. But have a look out for that, guys. If you're in the states, see if you if you've got this game or not, and see what you think of it, because it is available here in the UK. Um, this game. Uh, it's about 16 quid, and I got it because it's unusual. You've seen all the farming simulators games, and they're quite popular, but this one's called Forestry 27 The Simulation. Obviously, you you know, you take charge of forestry um, management equipment and stuff, and you manage your forest, and you, you know, control various types of cr um, um, cranes and diggers and all sorts of things. So, um, it looked quite interesting actually. I think it's one of those um, games that are would be um, uh, quite popular in the future, or uh, when demand in the future at least. Okay, this game I got off eBay for 15 quid, all new and sealed. The Count Lucanar, it's like a old style RPG. Um, it's supposed to be got some sort of, sort of spooky horror uh, elements in it, so I don't know if it's play styles, anything that's familiar to um, to uh, other spooky games um, like um, what was one I was thinking of um, that one on the stairs I've got uh, uh, it's not Secret Man ever, um, uh, Secret of Evermore that's what I was thinking of I think well, I think so, well, anyway I could be wrong um, so I don't know but it's, it's definitely got old school like SNES graphics anyway. Okay, um, right, got a couple of Steelbook editions. Liz, I've got this for retail. This is from Argos. Um, it's, it's exclusive to Argos in the UK, which is like a, a unusual catalogue type shop. It's um, Middle Earth Shadow War the Silver Edition. So obviously you get DLC, but also it like comes with a nice still book. And uh, Amazon exclusive, The Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind, which comes again with another nice still book. And that wasn't a lot of money, I think that was about £16 that was. Of Amazon. Okay, last but not least, um, shown in the background, is the game that I pre-ordered. Must be a year ago, and it's just taken forever to um, for developers to come up with it and produce it. And it's released by Limited Run Games. Well, this version of it anyway is, and it's Skull Girl's second in second encore. And it's a collector's set that comes with um, a CD soundtrack, quite a meaty um, a manual. A uh, usual card and stickers and some sort of inlay thing. Um, so it's nice to finally get the hat. Um, I notice it is, has been released. Um, I know I've seen it on PlayAsia.com as well, the standard edition. So if you're interested in this game, you can get it and do check it out. The animation is a is a two, um, is a beat 'em up, but the animation style is extremely cartoony. 
and um, quite, really nice actually. It's really, um, I played it um, a little bit of it so far, and um, it's quite enjoyable. And um, but but uh, I think as Peter Marks go, it's definitely worth having in your, in your collection. So um, do pick up a copy, even if it's from PlayAsia.com. It's well worth it. Uh, okay, guys, that's all my pickups for um, the past month or so. Um, a few goodies, as always, and uh, and I'd like to um, say to people who watch us, you know, please uh, thank you for watching, and as always, subscribe, uh, thumbs up, or whatever. And until next time, take care. Um, whether or not there'll be another video before Christmas, probably not. It'll probably be after Christmas now. Um, but all the same. If I don't speak to you before, have a good one. Merry Christmas and see you later.